Hello everyone! Welcome or welcome back here on my channel. This is me once again, Teacher Jinjin, your virtual teacher here on YouTube. Kung bago ka pa lang sa channel na ito, gumagawa ako ng mga Tagalog tutorial videos mula grade 7 hanggang grade 11. Kung interesado ka, please like, subscribe, at i-click mo na rin ang notification bell para ma-notify ka kapag may bago akong upload na video. Kung gusto mong mag-advanced learning sa inyong mga topics from first quarter hanggang fourth quarter, feel free to visit our playlist. Kompleto lahat yon. Okay? Let's get started! Magandang araw mga minamahal kong grade 8 students. Sa video na ito ay tuturuan ko kayo kung paano mag-graph ng inequalities given ang two variables. Diba nung first quarter ay tinuruan ko na kayo kung paano mag-graph ng equation in two variables. Ngayon naman ay inequality. Parang similar lang din yung pagkakasolve pero medyo mas mahaba lang itong inequalities. Okay? So, inibahan ko yung mga ibang given dito upang sa ganun ay subukan ninyong isolve yung nasa module ninyo. Dito sa number 1, bonus nyo na to, meron tayong y is less than or equal to x plus 4. Ang unan yung gagawin ay i-rewrite nyo muna yung inequality sa equation. So, gawin nyo muna ang equal sign yung inequality. Magiging y is equal to x plus 4. Okay? So, yan na ay linear equation na. Ngayon, ang next na gagawin ay i-determine natin yung x and y intercept. Pag kinukuha natin yung x intercept, let y is equal to 0, ba? At kapag kinukuha naman natin yung y intercept, let x equals 0. So, kunin muna natin yung y intercept. Gawin natin 0 yung x. So, that is y is equal to 0 plus 4. And then... Simplify, 0 plus 4 is equal to 4. Okay? Ibig sabihin, ang y-intercept natin is 0, positive 4. Yan yung first point natin. Ngayon naman, kapag kukunin naman natin yung x-intercept, let y is equal to 0 naman. So, magiging 0 is equal to x plus 4. Para makuha natin yung x, transpose natin si 4 sa kabila, magiging negative 4 na siya. Then, x. So, ang x natin is equal to negative 4. Pinagpalit ko lang yung position nila pero the same pa rin. So, that is negative 4, 0. O, oh, ba meron na tayong x and y intercept. Pwede na natin yung i-graph sa Cartesian plane. Siyempre, kapag i-graph natin, gumawa kayo ng Cartesian plane. Ano yung first point natin? That is 0, positive 4. Nasaan yun? Nandito. So, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, nandito siya. And then, yung next point is negative 4, 0. Negative 4, 0, ito. O, yan. May two points na tayo. Ngayon, tinan ninyo yung inequality symbol. Okay, so, ito ang tandaan ninyo ha. Kapag greater than at less than, ang gagamitin ninyo ay broken lines. Kapag naman greater than or equal to at less than or equal to, Solid line. Yan at, tandaan ninyo yan ha. So, ang given dito sa number 1 ay less than or equal to. Ibig sabihin, solid line ang gagamitin natin. Connect lang natin yung dalawang points. So, ito na yung line natin. And then, paano natin malalaman kung ano yung shaded region niya? Kasi kapag ganito lang yung graph equation niyan. Ngayon, Balikan natin yung inequality. Para alam natin kung saan yung shaded, kung dito ba sa below or dun sa taas. Okay, so ganito yan. Magkuha kayo ng test point kahit saan dito sa taas nung line. Dito muna tayo sa taas niya. Tingnan natin kung true or false. So, ang gagamitin ko is negative 3, positive 5. Ito ang gagamitin ko. Negative 3, positive 5. Tingnan natin kung masasatisfy na niya yung inequality. So, y is less than or equal to x plus 4. By substitution, that is 5, less than or equal to negative 3 plus 4. 5 is less than or equal to negative 3 plus 4 equals positive 1. Is 5 less than or equal to 1? False. 
So, hindi natin shishidan yung nasa taas. Itry natin yung nasa baba naman ng line. Itry ko yung positive 2 at positive 1. Positive 2, positive 1. So, that is, ang y natin is 1, less than or equal to, ang x natin is 2, plus 4. 1, less than or equal to 2, plus 4, equal 6. Is 1 less than or equal to 6? Yes, this is true. So, ibig sabihin, sa true tayo magsishade ng portion. Ibig sabihin, ang shishade natin ay dito sa baba ng line. So, magshade lang kayong ganyan. Ibig sabihin yan, lahat ng nandito sa baba ng line ay solution ng inequality na to. Okay? Nasundan ninyo? Number 2, we have y plus 2x is less than 7. Okay, pinalitan ko yung value dito ha, kaya huwag niyong kakopyahin lahat. Ang una natin gagawin, kunin natin yung x and y intercept. Kapag kinukuha yung y intercept, let x equals 0. So that is y plus 2 times 0 less than 7. Ah, gawin natin equal na ito. So that is y 2 times 0 equals 0 is equal to 7. So, ang y-intercept, 0, positive 7. Kunin naman natin yung x-intercept. So, let y equals 0. That is y plus 2x equals 7. So, that is 0 plus 2x equals 7. Para makuha natin yung x, i-divide natin both sides by 2. Para makancel ito. Then, x is equal to 7 over 2. Ano ang katumbas ng 7 over 2 sa decimal form? 7 divided by 2 is equal to 3.5. Ibig sabihin, ang x-intercept natin is 3.50. Para mas madali nating mag-graph sa Cartesian plane. Kunin natin ang graphing paper. Dapat meron kayong graphing paper para madali kayong mag-graph. Ang y-intercept natin is 0, positive 7. So, nandito yon. And then, next is 3.50. So, 3.5 nasa pagitan ni 3 tsaka 4. So, nandito naman yon. Ang ginamit na inequality ay less than. Ano yung sinabi ko kanina? Kapag less than, broken lines. Okay? So, i-connect natin yan. Broken lines ang gagamitin natin. Hindi siya solid line. Okay? Next, anong gagawin natin ulit? Kumuha tayo ng test point sa taas niya at saka sa baba niya. So, ang kukunin ko dito is positive 4, positive 4. Tingnan natin kung masasatisfy niya yung inequality. Positive 4, positive 4. That is y, that is 4, plus 2 times x is 4. Less than 7. 4 plus 2 times 4 equals 8. Less than 7. 4 plus 8 is equal to 12. Less than 7. Is 12 less than 7? No. So, this is false. Now, itry naman natin yung nasa baba niya. Kuha tayo dito yung negative 1, positive 1. By substitution, that is, y is 1 plus 2 times ang x is negative 1 less than 7. That is 1. 2 times negative 1 equals negative 2 less than 7. 1 minus 2 is equal to negative 1 less than 7. Is negative 1 less than 7? Yes. So, this is true. Meaning to say, ang shishade natin dito ay yung nandito sa baba. Okay? So, ganyan lang siya mga anak. Ibig sabihin niyan, yung mga nandito sa baba niya ay solution ng inequality na to. Next, number 3, we have x minus 4y is greater than or equal to 6. So, gawin muna natin siyang equation that is x minus 4y equals 6. Then, get the x and y intercept. Let x equals 0 para makuha yung y intercept. So, that is 0 minus 4y equals 6. Anong gagawin natin para makuha yung y? I-divide natin both sides by negative 4. So, makakancel ito. Then, y equals 6 over negative 4 or 
negative 3 over 2. Anong katumbas ng negative 3 over 2 sa decimal form? 1.5. So, ang y-intercept natin is 0, negative 1.5. Kunin naman natin yung x-intercept. Let y is equal to 0 naman. So, x minus 4 times 0 equals 6. So, 4 times 0 is equal to 0. Ang matitira na lang is x is equal to 6. Ibig sabihin, ang x-intercept natin is positive 6, 0. Kunin natin ang graphing paper. Plot natin yung mga points. Yung dalawang points natin, that is 0, negative 1.5. Negative 1.5 na sa gitna ni negative 1 at negative 2. Next is positive 6, 0. Nandito siya. Okay? Anong gagamitin nating line? Is it broken line or solid line? Greater than or equal to siya, kaya solid line. So, takpan ko na muna yun. Then, i-connect natin yung mga points. Then, kumuha tayo ng test point. Ang test point ko dito, yung nasa taas is positive 3, positive 2. Try natin yung positive 3, positive 2 kung masasatisfy niya yung inequality. So, that is x. Ang x natin is 3 minus 4 times ang y natin is 2. Is greater than or equal to 6. Simplify, that is 3. Negative 4 times 2 equals negative 8. Greater than or equal to 6. 3 minus 8 equals negative 5. Greater than or equal to 6. Is negative 5 greater than or equal to 6? No. So, this is false. So, hindi pwede sa taas. Ngayon, kumuha tayo ng test point dito sa baba. Ang kukunin ko is positive 5, posit negative 3. Positive 5, negative 3. By substitution, that is... Ang x natin is 5 minus 4 times ang y natin is negative 3 greater than or equal to 6. Simplify. 5 and then 4 times negative 3 equals negative 12 times negative equals magiging positive 12 na siya. Greater than or equal to 6. So 5 plus 12 equals 17 greater than or equal to 6. Is 17 greater than or equal to 6? Yes, so this is true, meaning to say, ang shaded region ay yung nasa baba. So, ang shishida nyo dito yung nasa baba. Ganyan. Kung gusto nyo panoorin yung part 2, i-click nyo na lang sa end screen or hanapin nyo na lang sa playlist natin. Once again, stay home, stay safe, stay healthy at mag lang mabuti. God bless you all and goodbye!